this is the energy vibration blazing for um, the month of April the month of April is a fire month it's going to be a wonderful positive month because um, we're coming out of the first three months of uh, the year um, where um, a lot of things balance is now coming in in the month of April okay it's um, a time for taxes so a lot of people you know some people will be busy and some people will be receiving back um, money from taxes and that sort of a thing so um, a fire month um, it's a month of movement it's a month of movement so um, for a lot of people you're going to find out that a trans um, transformation is happening in your life where a lot of um, positive energies that are going to be coming in in your life in this month of April because April is a month where a lot of um, retrogrades is happening and uh, the full moon so a lot of people endings are going to be happening people are going to be moving forward because of these endings relationships are going to be ending new relationships are going to be starting and this sort of a thing I love the energy of this fire month whenever it comes up with the energy of the chariot because the energy of the chariot is actually movement happening and in a positive way okay um, a lot of people are going to be victorious and successful over some things some diversity in their life things that they have been going through for a very long time or that they have been going through situations and it's there is going to now come and ending and this ending is going to be wonderful because you're moving on to something which is much better and and something which is good so this is the energy vibration for the month of April um, remember to always go listen to your Sun um, Sun and moon rising sign as usual I change up the readings um, for the months um, I'm, I, I like for different variety um, and this is good this is a month of fire it's a lot of fire there is just one energy and this month has four weeks okay this month have four weeks so this month is just gonna go like that it has four weeks the energy of the month is a baby blue color it's a sky blue it's showing you um, it's, a, it's a restful month it's showing you that there's peaceful tranquil movement that is coming um, towards you so this is going to be good what is so um, wonderful and so fantastic with this month which is um, really so good which I personally like for this month is because with a baby um, blue color it's a tranquility tranquility it is the energy of uh, um, a, a masculine power coming in to move us forward but in a very very positive way it's as if the universe has taken over and is going to move us forward I want I'm asking you guys to please please listen to these general readings because it's very important okay it's gonna be um, a wonderful month for the fire sign people and uh, um, the hurt sign people but the fire sign people it's going to be a very very wonderful month because um, what is transpiring is that you have uh, the energy of the chariot and you're coming in the month with a victory and success um, for um, the fire sign people and the earth sign people then we have the energy of inner strength this is for the Sagittarians so the Sagittarians the week the second week is for you Sagittarians okay the first week is for the Leos and the second week is for the Sagittarians which is wonderful and which is good as we move in the third week the Pisces this is a week for you Pisces this is a week where you're going to be looking for inner understanding and wisdom to things around you for the rest of the people it's going to be a week where you're going to take in it slow it's as if it, um, with all the fire energies in the beginning of the week in the third week you're going to be um, taking it slow looking inwards for inner wisdom and guidance love the fourth week fourth week is a wheel of fortune so a lot of people fire sign and earth sign people wheel of fortune is coming in which is a positive energies um, you begin the month with the chariot which is the element of four elements and you're ending the month um, with the energy of the fire energies which is another positive um, very very positive energies that is coming in okay we need to understand um, the elements of all um, um, these how it works and how it affects um, you guys okay the wheel of fortune is um, is 
is, 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 is an energy of a positivity okay it doesn't really matter what is happening how things are transpiring in your life but um, with the energy of the fire energy it's always um, very positive is your passy when you end a month with a wheel of fortune this is good beginning a month and ending a month with a wheel of fortune is always a good thing because what it is doing it is transpiring it is a spiritual month that's why we have the energy of the baby blue because it's a spiritual month is a month of inner awareness this will happen this inner awareness will happen in the third week and the mastery is going to happen in the first week wisdom and guidance inside success is going to come out in the fourth week um, what we um, what we like and, and what we try to strive for especially as I give these energies um, reading what we go for and what we strive for is to let people have an understanding of where they are and how things are going to be working out for them so for the fire sign people it's going to be um, a very much of a wonderful year because whenever um, the energy of the chariot come in it's a year it's a month it's a yes month okay it's a month of successful endeavors whatever the situation that the troubling situation that has been happening um, in this month you are going to be realizing that there are new possibilities there are new situations there are going to be solutions for situations that are coming up okay there are really going to be solutions for situations that are coming up so you know I see this as a positive and a good month for a lot of people um, the energy of the chariot is always the energy of um, the um, Leo's okay and um, with this energy it carries four different energies the energies of strength is always the energy of the Sagittarians which is the second week so a lot of people are going to have this lot of situation with the Sagittarians third week is always um, with the energy of the hermit it is the energy of uh, the Pisces okay um, the scorpions the energy of the scorpion so a lot of scorpion people and Pisces people in the third week are going to have uh, the sense of awareness that is coming in wheel of fortune is the energy of the um, Aries people okay so um, this is passion power and a situation coming in um, let's move in um, to the reading to see what is going to be happening because we are going to be looking because it's a fire month it's a full fire month with the third week uh, as an emotional month where we're going to be connecting with inner wisdom and guidance so let's look and see what is um, connecting the first um, week of fire with the chariot with the second week judge uh, justice so um, for a lot of people whatever imbalance whatever legalities and that sort of a week it's going to be happening in the first uh, um, between the first two weeks so for some people um, the ending of a uh, um, the two last week and and the first week and the two um, weeks in the, in the beginning of the second week uh, justice is going to be coming up then we have the energy of uh, the eight of swords um, now things are clear you're seeing a situation for what it is and things are going to be clearing up um, for a lot of people so if you have been dealing with a situations you are going to see that things are going to be clearing up the um, third week this is the energy of the third week of, um, adjoining to the um, fourth week uh, so the two last week and, and the first week adjoining to the second uh, the fourth week you are going to have the energy of um, the six of swords so a journey a situation is and as is about to end in your life and this is going to be um, positive because the wheel of fortune is bringing this ending in sip of coffee as we move forward and we're looking to see what is this energy of justice because justice is an air sign and um, the connections in um, the, the weeks in this month is all about uh, communication clarity and knowing and, and knowing that there is an end that is coming to a situation the energy of the world comes out I love this to uh, be balancing out because this is for the hurt sign people so in um, 
the second week for the earth sign people the energy of the hurt comes up and I have to push um, my cards further up um, I have to push my cards further up because this is um, the monthly reading so the energy of the world comes out and this is going to be happening in the second week so this is a wonderful energy so in the second week as I had already said for the hurt sign people the Taurus Virgo and Capricorns you are going to have a balance and good things are going to be coming out in the, the second week for you guys as we move forward and we look and see what is going to happen in the third week we have an energy of an uh, ending has come in in the second week and in the third week you are going to be moving forward and this is why the energy of the wheel of fortune because now you are seeing a situation that has transpired and what has been playing out and um, what has transpired and now and um, an healing the wheel of fortune is coming in to bring in an healing um, for you guys and now as we look at the outcomes of the month of April we have um, uh, information so information information is going to be coming in um, for a lot of people who are looking for work and that sort of a situation this is going to be transpiring and happening for you in uh, the month of April if you were looking for a new start information is going to be coming in for a new start for you guys so this is wonderful and this is um, very very productive and it's going to be a, an extremely productive month for each and every person out there um, for the air signs I'm um, I'm a little bit um, worried for the air sign people that is for the Aquarians the Gemini's and the Sagittarians because um, the adjoining of the second week and the third week um, there is that, that that is only the only balance and um, stability that you're going to have in this month and the two last week of the third week and the two first week of the first week that is where a sort of a balance is going to become and it's going to be not so off because the energies are in the reverse form the opera the, the reverse form so for you guys you have to be um, very very um, responsive to this situation and what is going to be happening for you okay let's move forward because um, what I'm seeing is that for the people who have legality um, situations there is going to be a triumphant a victory and a triumphant and that situation is going to be end and you're going to receive information from for from this the information from this you're going to um, leave the situation behind and you're going to be um, moving forward to something better and the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of um, success and um, positive energies that are going to be coming out okay all right let's look as usual I've changed up this reading um, so let's look because this month is going to bring clarity this month is a month of clarity this month is a month of seeing a situation for what it is for seeing things for what it is and you're going to decide to move on so we're calling up on the universal the infinity universe to show um, us what is going to be um, the energy for your money and materialistic endeavor in this month and um, you have received the energy of uh, um, have courage to ask and accept the help so it says ask for help is a sign of strength as it is accepting as it is in order to you very often um, you um, ask God for help you have um, fracked the universe for help the answers come through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you're guided to do so this is a beautiful card that is saying that in this month do not stand and wait on anything but ask for assistance because whatever the help that you need um, the help is going to be coming through 
another message came up which um this is a general read it another message came up that says the obstacles and blocks are now lifted so for the people who were dealing with obstacles and block in your life um as you have been asking for help this is going to be lifted okay obstacles and block are going to be lifted in this month and it says all your good personal work and your positive energy shift has overcome previous obstacles and blocks and are lifted away you will now experience progress forward movement in your project stay center in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundancy remain um, continuously so this is um, a very very positive energies that is coming in for your financial situation in the month because this is the general reading okay so um let's look at the love since it's the love is here first so we're going to look at the love for the people the ladies over 40 what is going to be happening in your love relationship for the ladies over um for the ladies over 40 let's see what is going to be happening for love um, there is a message that is going to be coming in um, for the ladies over 40 um, in relationship to love situation um, whatever the situation that is happening transpiring in your life there is a message that is going to be coming in for love let's see for the men what is going to be happening a lot of men are going to have achievement achievement um, very very positive achievement love satisfaction achievement um, um, jobs promotion and that sort of a thing um, and um, it's going to be um, a very good in career and that sort of a thing for you and for the people ages um, 18 till 30 um, you are going to have a new start a new start is going to be coming up for you um, it's going to be positive this new start because this new start um, is going to be for in love for some people and in career because not all, everyone is looking for energies in love and um, uh, and um, so what is going to happen is that in love you guys have um, that your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out for love because this is going to be um, a very positive positive um, time in your life where in love um, the energy of uh, the nine of cup, the ten of cups is here so in love it's going to be um, very positive because you have the energy of the ten of cups coming up so this is going to be a wonderful positive month if you ask because the energy of uh, the ten of cups coming up in a love relationship is going to be positive we're going to look at the zodiac and see what zodiac energies are going to be happening for you um, for you guys uh, what is the energy of the zodiac in the month of um, April first we're going to look at the Sun sign people so let's get it in here because it's a monthly reading so the Sun sign people what is going to be happening for the Sun sign people remember the Sun sign people are the people who were born um, 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 at uh, um, 12 um, a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening so for the sun sign people I haven't been doing this but I'm coming back to it for the sun sign people what is going to be happening for the sun sign people and those are the people who were born um, 12 a.m. until 6 p.m. Sun sign people, what is here? What is happening for you guys? You're going to be working with the, the energy, the planet of Pluto. You're going to be working with the, uh, the planet of Pluto for the sun sign people. This is where certain things are going to be just a release from out of your life. If you're with a scorpion, this person could, um, you know, end a relationship with you. We have the scorpions and the Sagittarians. So, um, and here is the Sagittarians in the second week and the scorpion is in the third week <laughs> and sorry I keep on laughing because um, what is happening the last time is that everything is just 
spot spot on and um, here in the second week we had the Sagittarians in the um, the week uh, the week's energy and um, the scorpion in the third week and they both come up for the Sun sign people so you you can um, see that um, Sagittarians are coming in your life and or leaving your life or you can't see that the scorpion people are coming in your life or leaving in your leaving your life so it depends on who you are and uh, as a sun person and how these people affect your life okay let's look at the moon people to see what's happening for the people who were born after 6 p.m. till 12 um, um, p.m. at night and this is the moon people and let's see what is the energy of October of April 2018 so you have the energy of the lunar people which is the moon people and you are going to be working with the Aquarians okay the Aquarians are coming in we have the energy of the Aquarians coming in um, some of you and the Capricorns so we have the energy of the Aquarians the Capricorns and Venus is that Venus no the Pisces so it's gonna be a psychic month for um, the uh, moon people okay for the the moon people so the people who were born um, after 6 p.m. in the evening and um, 12 a.m. Um, a. in the morning you are going to be dealing with the um, the Aquarians the Pisces and the Capricorn and whenever these energies comes up okay I'm gonna teach you something um, the Capricorn should be at the beginning and the, um, the um, Aquarians whenever the, these people comes up these people are the most spiritual people on this planet okay they work with the unseen world and they um, you know if you, they were born in the night if you were born in the night after 6 p.m. in the evening and in the night is the most psychic people that you can um, find on this planet it is the Aquarians the Pisces and the Capricorns and this is why people have problems having relationship with these people because they're very psychic these they see through what is going on and you know if even you're trying to lie to them they just look at you as if you know okay it's um, your thing if you want to lie you can go ahead and lie but they see through everything that is basically happening this is what is transpiring okay so um, for you lunar people it's gonna be a very psychic month and this is good last message the message from the universe as you're back it says when I am connected to my joyful present I attract support from the universe and this is so so true really guys this is so so true because what is happening is that once you are connected to your to the universe the source of all things you begin to attract that which you are you know that is needed and this is just so positive because your life begins to change I am loving this month for you guys so I want to say to you guys namaste until next time I'm gonna try um, and um, you know give a feedback please remember to listen to your general reading namaste um, I'm wishing you a wonderful month